Ronald Henry Tamman Jr. Roland Henry Tamman Jr. was a sophomore at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio and worked as a residence advisor at Fisher Hall. On the evening of April 19, 1953, Ronald found a dead fish in his bed and requested new sheets from the dorm mother. Shortly afterwards, he supposedly heard something outside his room which disturbed him and left to investigate. He never returned and left behind his car keys, wallet and all of his personal belongings. His vehicle was also left in the campus parking lot, and even though it was a very cold night, Ronald did not take his jacket with him. Later that night, a woman living 12 miles away from the campus claimed that, a young man matching Ronald's description came to her door, he appeared to be disoriented, and asked what town he was in and also requested directions to the bus stop. Ronald had not shown any signs of mental problems prior to his disappearance, though five months beforehand, he made the bizarre decision to go to the county coroner's office in Hamilton, Ohio and ask for a test to have his blood typed. No trace of Ronald has ever been found. But it's worth noting that, Fisher Hall was a former Victorian mental asylum which was rumored to be haunted. Until the residence was torn down in 1978, many students claimed to have seen Ronald's ghost. Kristen Smart Kristen Smart was a freshman at Cal Poly State University in San Luis Obispo, who decided to attend an off-campus party on the evening of May 24, 1996. At around 2 a.m., Kristen was heavily intoxicated and seemed to have trouble walking. Two of Kristen's friends and another student named Paul Flores helped escort Kristen to an intersection. When Paul told them he would take Kristen to her dormitory, they went their separate ways. Kristen never made it back to her room, and this is the last anyone ever saw of her. Paul claimed that, he escorted Kristen down the street and let her walk the rest of the way to her dorm on her own. However, authorities became suspicious when they noticed that, Paul had a black eye and he told several conflicting stories about how it happened. A cadaver dog also tracked Kristen's scent to a mattress in Paul's dorm room. Paul eventually dropped out of Cal Poly, and when interrogated by police, he invoked his Fifth Amendment rights, and refused to answer any questions. Paul Flores remains the prime suspect in Kristen's disappearance, but there has never been enough evidence to charge him with anything. Kristen was declared legally dead in 2002, but after 17 years, her body has still never been found. Paula Jean Weldon Paula Jean Weldon was an 18-year-old sophomore at Bennington College in Vermont. After working her shifts at the dining hall, on December 1, 1946, Paula Jean returned to her dormitory room that afternoon and told her roommate, she was going to take a study break, and go for a hike. She asked other students to come along with her, but they all declined. Shortly afterward, a motorist picked up Paula hitchhiking. She claimed she was going to hike on the long trail near Glastonbury Mountain. Several witnesses saw her on the trail, that afternoon and at approximately 4 p.m., Paula passed by a man, and asked him how far the trail went. This would be the last confirmed sighting of her. When Paula failed to return to her room that night, and attend her next classes, she was reported missing. She left behind an uncashed check, and was not known to be carrying any money, or belongings when she left. Her decision to go hiking seemed pretty baffling, since it was going to snow that night, and she was underdressed for the freezing weather. A search of the long trail turned up no trace of Paula. The area where she disappeared would eventually be dubbed the Bennington Triangle since a total of five people mysteriously vanished there between 1945 and 1950. Four of those five people, including Paula Jean Weldon, have never been found. 